How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back to share another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on befriending our own self, being more friendly to our own self. I know for many of you relationships are very important. It's very important that you have deep and meaningful relationship to the people that are close in your life. But oftentimes we fail and neglect the most important relationship, which is the relationship with our own self. Many of us are very harsh and hard on our own self. We are not very friendly. So that's the topic for today, learning to be more friendly. And later I'll give you a little small practice you can do to befriend yourself. So I think it's very important that we learn to have a friendly attitude and be gentle with our own selves, especially if we are on a self-development journey. Because if you are on a genuine path of self-development, you will need to face the weaknesses of your personality, the ugly side of our personality, and having a friendly attitude, being gentle with ourselves will help us get through that and become a more balanced human being. So I think being friendly is very important. And now I want to talk about what's the self that we want to befriend. So many of us, we are living through our conscious mind. Our conscious mind is essentially our personality. But if we really want to befriend our own self, we need to find our inner self. We need to befriend our inner self. Our inner self is our feeling mind. Our conscious mind is our thinking mind. And just below the conscious thinking mind is the feeling mind, you can say. That's where you will find your true being, your inner self. This is the source of your inner knowing. When you really know something, it's coming from your inner self. And this is who we, who we want to befriend. We want to start being friendly and getting in tune with our inner self. And as we start to make contact with our inner self and we start to develop a feeling relationship we start to feel our way into it and get more acclimated and recognize that it is our inner self as opposed to just our conscious thinking mind our personality then as we get more in tune then our inner self will start to lead the way it'll start to show us the way in our own life and this is where we want to be so I want to share just a little exercise that you can do as part of a daily ritual that will help you to just start to be more friendly with yourself and start connecting with that loving and friendly energy and presence within you. So the exercise is simple. It's just simply in the morning when you wake up to brush your teeth or anytime you're in front of a mirror. In the mirror, just do a steady gaze and just look at the mirror and just hold your eyes steady and just try to acknowledge the divine source of the energy that's animating your body. Try to connect and recognize that you come from a divine source and hold your eyes steady too and just try to fathom the mystery of the divine presence that is behind those eyes. Try to connect with that energy on any level that you can and just know that that divine energy is loving is all accepting and this is how you can start to acknowledge that and recognize that within yourself that although you're in this body what's animating and making this body come to life is a loving energy and this is an energy you can always tap into so that you can always feel that sense of friendliness within yourself to your own self and that's it just practice that daily and i think it'll help you help you to connect and to start just being a little more friendly and connecting with that divine source within you and just acknowledging that all right guys i hope you enjoyed that little video i hope it helps you out and yeah learn to be friendly with yourself be your own best friend because if you can't be your own best friend and truly be friendly with yourself then you can't really be friendly with others 
All right, until next time, take care. Peace. Peace.